Good evening for the Clarity Crew. I'm Kurt Gebhardt, and this is your five at five. We have, over the last couple of weeks, been considering the new covenant ministry out of 2 Corinthians 3, 4, and 5. All of these treasures, all of these graces of the work of Jesus Christ applied to our lives to live the fullness of our Christian lives. And today we're in 2 Corinthians 4, 1, and it says this, Therefore, since we have this ministry by the mercy of God, we do not lose heart. Today, we're talking about every Christian's calling and confidence. We have this ministry. If I had an opportunity to put one truth in the heart of every believing friend, it would be this. The privilege that we have to minister for God. Believer, you have this ministry. You have been born again. You have been equipped. You have been called so that we have the privilege of engaging in ministry. We have this ministry. The verb here, to have, in John 14, 21, relates to cherishing the word of God. This having the ministry is a cherishing and a loving and a protecting of the ministry that we've been given. Whether we are ambassadors for Christ or witnesses of his greatness or fishing for men or disciple making or yoke bearing or fruit bearing or doing good works, we are called into the ministry as priests to our God. You have been made a priesthood, 1 Peter 2, so that we could have this ministry. You, believer, are to cherish the ministry that you have, the ministry of mercy. Therefore, we have this ministry by the mercy of God. This is a ministry from mercy and for mercy. This is a ministry from mercy. What a mercy to be enlisted as believers in God's perfect work. What a mercy to be called into his work and effort. Just like God the Father has been working the works of redemption for these thousands of years, and the Son and the Spirit have been working the works of redemption, they draw us into the work. What a mercy. But it's a ministry from mercy, and it's ministry for mercy. 2 Corinthians 5 18 and following talks about how we have the ministry of reconciliation. We are peddling mercy. We are selling hope. We are helping people with the truth. We are repping, representing, and we're sending forth messages of love and goodness and reconciliation. Let us do it wide and far. Let us do it all the time with every opportunity that we have. Let us take up this ministry of mercy. Let us enjoy the privilege and let us be active in it because it is a ministry by mercy and a ministry of mercy and a ministry for mercy. And because of this, my friends, we do not lose heart. Losing heart because we have confidence in him and we have courage from him. You see, we don't lose heart because we understand that this is his ministry. Therefore, we have this ministry. What ministry is that? Well, it's a ministry of God's unveiling and transforming work. We don't lose heart in the ministry because he is the author and perfecter of our faith. We don't lose heart in the ministry because he's the Alpha and the Omega who was before, is, and is to come. He is the great sovereign of the universe, the great captain of our faith. He is the Almighty, and we do not lose heart. Every time we're tempted to discouragement, that is the work of the flesh or the enemy of the world, because trusting in God's power gives us confidence and we do not lose heart. But also, not losing heart not only includes confidence, but includes our courage. In Later on in this chapter, verse 16, it says, we do not lose heart by circumstances. Even though the outer man is decaying, the inner man is being renewed day by day. You see, circumstances discourage, but the Savior encourages. In fact, this is also used in chapter 5, when he talks about we are of good courage, whether we're at home with God or absent, we're here, we're pleasing to the Lord, meaning we have good courage based on our strength in Him. So we have confidence that he'll do the work in the ministry so we don't lose heart. And we have courage. We're fortified. Do you know the word courage comes from heart? The French word of the Latin word for heart. We are encouraged, meaning our heart is fortified with strength from God because this is his ministry, a ministry of the spirit, not according to the law. And you can go back to chapter 3, verses 5 and 6 to say our adequacy is from him. We do not lose heart because he gives us 
courage and fills us with strength for the ministry. Oh, believer, let's go. We have this ministry by the mercy of God, and we do not lose heart. Thank you for joining us as we're considering the new covenant life. And may you be encouraged in the ministry ahead. For the Clarity Crew, I'm Kurt Kephart. Be encouraged, be challenged, be clear.